The fundamental difference between the Malinois and the German Shepherd is not drive. What a lot of people think is that Malinois have more drive than German Shepherds do. And, and oftentimes, if you're taking a high quality working line German Shepherd and a high quality Malinois and you're lining them up next to each other, the difference really isn't so much in functional drive. The, the drive levels, in my opinion, are, are often quite comparable. What the difference is, is in the neuroses and the sensitivity to patterns. Okay, so Malwas have a very healthy dose of neuroses. They're very neurotic dogs, which means they love patterns, especially patterns in which they achieve drive satisfaction. Okay, so a lot of times the Malwas, where the idea comes from that they can be uh, difficult dogs for a new person to train, is because if you don't provide the Malwas with drive satisfaction, oftentimes he will seek it on his own. And once he finds a way to achieve drive satisfaction, even if it's something that's really non-productive for your life or, or for your dog, you know, being out in public, like for instance, let's say he takes to chasing cars, okay? It can be really hard to break them of that because they are wired. They have been selected for many, many generations to be dogs that are very good in patterns and very good at um, you know, achieving drive satisfaction. So even though they might have the same functional drive or even a little bit less drive than a German Shepherd, the Malwa is much more prone to finding the pattern that achieves drive satisfaction. So that's why they're also very sensitive dogs, right? Because if they weren't very sensitive to stimuli, both from the handler and from the environment, they would be less prone to picking up these patterns that help them achieve drive satisfaction. And they are very intense in everything that they do. So obviously you guys are watching my, my German Shepherd. You might say, well, the German Shepherd's a lot more intense, right? Than the Malwa. And that's because in, in my opinion, these two dogs aren't even on the same level. Of course, the German Shepherd, in my opinion, is one of the best dogs that I've ever owned, if not the best dog. And the Malwa, she's a decent dog, but she's definitely not, um, you know, in, in the top tier, in my opinion. You will see though, that a lot of people will look at the Malwa and look at my German Shepherd and they'll be like, the Malwa is a crackhead because she'll sit there shaking and jittering because she's so excited to get going because she's learned to achieve drive satisfaction by doing the, the, the things that we do in training, right? So she can appear more intense. She can appear to have more drive than the German Shepherd um, or than a German Shepherd. When in reality, you know, in my opinion, she's more of a medium drive dog. That's what people don't understand about Malwa's and German Shepherds. So I often say just to make it easy for people, hey, a Malwa is like a German Shepherd on crack. And it's true and it's not true. All right, and that's what you have to understand. They're, they're, they're very similar breeds. They're bred to do the same things, but the, the Malwa is very performance-based and the German Shepherd's more of a utility breed, kind of an all-arounder, whereas the Malwa is very specific for the sport um, and for, for, for specific working applications. So if you don't know what you're doing with them, believe you me, they will find drive satisfaction. And if you put pressure on them in the wrong places, they'll overreact to the pressure. And that's again why a lot of people biting, uh, a lot of people get bit by high drive Malwa's, so on and so forth. So that's a little spiel. I'm sure, you know, there's more, there's some things that I missed, but that's a little spiel on, on the difference between Malwa's and German Shepherds. For me, I prefer the German Shepherd to work, but I have no problem driving a Malwa. Malwa's, you know, like a Ferrari. And for me, like a German Shepherd's like a, a, a Hellcat. You know, if you kind of can understand the difference when using a, a car reference. So I love Malwa's. I love German Shepherds. Um, you know, like I said already, the German Shepherd for me is the breed of choice. Um, but if you if you know what you're doing and uh, or you have the uh, the help of a trainer that knows what he or she is doing, uh, a Malwa can be a wonderful choice. Not as a not as a, a family pet, but more as you know, a, a, a wor an active companion or a, a working companion. If you don't have a job for your Malwa, you probably shouldn't be getting one.